<clears throat> Hello, Inspirational A here, obviously, not obviously, why do I keep saying obviously? Um, it's going to be my review of WWE WrestleMania 34. It won't be long because obviously, well, I'm going to try and make it an under 10 minute video because I don't want to be dragging on too long, keeping you guys too long, but obviously there's a lot of matches to get through. So we're just going to run through the matches, give my opinion as I usually do, say if I thought a person was going to win and whatnot. And then, yeah, so let's crash on. Let's move my. Getting a bit of fatty. Cheating on the diet a bit. Um, right, it's so first match. Intercontinental triple threat match between The Miz, Seth Rollins, and Finn Balor. Again. Or not again. And overall, I will say WrestleMania was okay, decent, and not as predictable as I thought. Um. Two sets because I did think it's gonna be a lot more predictable, but there you go. Um, so yeah, in the corner of the champion match, Seth first Miz first spin and Seth won. Um, first of all, not surprised Seth won because they're not gonna let Seth do nothing. Personally, I want the Finn to win because I think Finn's just gone to nothing, which is a shame because in the next bit like in NXT days for Bailey and who else I'm trying to think. Sammy Sane, yeah, Kevin Owens, kind of, basically, in NXT he was amazing, put on amazing matches, but now he's since gone to main roster, so he hasn't really done anything, but it's a shame, because obviously, you know, he's an amazing talent, hence why I wanted him to win, Miz a decent wrestler, don't like him, but he's a decent wrestler, and Seth Rollins, like I said, the reason, it's obvious Seth was going to win, because, he is one of the top guys in the company and they're not going to let one of the top guys in the company be doing nothing. So what's the next best thing? Not Instead of the championship, universal belt, give them the intercontinental. Um, so yeah, but overall, good match and pretty obvious winner. But, but good match, which I didn't expect anything less. Smackdown Women's Championship match, Charlotte Fire versus Asuka. I think, like everyone, took me by shock, Asuka lost. I thought Asuka was going to win, and again, I wanted Asuka to win. I prefer her over Charlotte. Don't get me wrong, Charlotte is an amazing wrestler, and so is Asuka. But I thought, you know, that was going to make Asuka beat Charlotte, keep the undefeated streak going a bit longer, because it's a bit pointless her having this undefeated streak, and then she gets the biggest stage of them all, and she gets beaten, and they don't even win the belt. Don't really make sense. But, apart from Charlotte being a surprise winner, which... Ain't too bad, I suppose, because Charlotte is a good wrestler. Um, it was a decent match again. Nothing special, but nothing, you know, rubbish. Decent. United States Championship Fate of Four Way. Jinder Mahal for Randy Orton first Bob Roode for Sruta. Um, again, the winner took me by surprise. I didn't think Jinder would win. I know WWE is very high on Jinder Mahal and us fans, me included, don't really like Jinder Mahal. He doesn't really interest me. I can't really, don't really like him. So, but I'm surprised he won because he hasn't really been doing much. But I'm guessing, you know, the company again want to keep him at the top. So how do you do that? Put a belt on him. Um, but I honestly thought Bob Roode or Randy was going to win. Um, but overall, again, a decent match. Not amazing, nothing you know, crazy, but a decent match between four, I suppose, powerhouses, you would call them. Um, so, yeah, decent, good match. Kurt Angle and Ronda Ronsi first for a white stuff, man. Um, Kurt Angle and Ronda Ronsi won. Doesn't surprise me, because you're not going to let Ronda Ronsi uh, make a debut at WrestleMania and then lose a match. That'd be pointless. I will have to say I was very, very impressed. Obviously, I know Ronda Rousey's been uh, doing training, wrestling training, but fair freaking play to her because you watch the match, she can pull off some very good wrestling moves. She can sell, like when she went into the ring post, uh, got chucked into the ring post and whatnot. She even, you know, went toe to toe with Triple H. Her finisher looked pretty deadly. So, fair play. She's been training hard, and you can see it's paying off. And this was her first match, and it was a good 20-minute match, I think. 30-minute match, maybe. Um, so, apart from the winners being Kurt and Rondi, which didn't surprise me, it was a very good match. 
one of my favorite matches of the night, and Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey certainly made an impression on me, and impressed me with how much she sold the moves and done the wrestling in that match. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Very very good match. Just move it up. So SmackDown Championship Tag Team Championship match your threat Bludgeon Brothers the Bludgeon Brothers for Usos and New Day. Not much to say for it. Not much to say about this match because it wasn't surprised Bludgeon Brothers was gonna win because they made on an absolute tear. So it's obvious they was gonna get the belts at WrestleMania because of the way they've been presented to us and you know. Um but the match itself wasn't that good. Now I said in the pre show, pre blog I thought it'd be one of the matches that I thought would be a match of the night, or a very good match at least. But it's just, to me, it was a match that was all over the place. Wasn't really much happening. You know, it's more of like Usos and the New Day try and take care of the Bludgeon Brothers. Didn't work, Bludgeon Brothers just destroy them, win the belts. Straightforward, boring match. Wasn't that good, which disappoints me because normally New Day and Usos win their matches, put on amazing matches, but I don't know. It's an okay match with obvious winner. Um, Untaker versus John Cena. Not much to say about this. Untaker came out and squashed John Cena. Surprised me a little bit. I thought I'd have a match or more of a match. Maybe because it was the main show. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe because there was <coughs> loads of matches. Maybe because it was a last minute thing for Undertaker agreeing to, <coughs> agreeing to it. But either way, I'm not surprised Undertaker won. I wanted them to win. Um, but I was just surprised how quickly and how squash of a match they made it. But there you go. Not really else much to say about that. Tag team, Daniel Bryan and Shane Lamb. First Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Again, an okay match. It was obvious Daniel Bryan was going to, you know, come in and, and then just absolute tear Roman. Roman. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to bits. Um, because he's obviously come back from two year retirement, thank God. He is one of my favourite wrestlers, so I'm glad he won. But apart from that, it's a decent match. Shame, you know, usual malarkey. Shane gets beaten up for a bit and then, bang, Daniel Bryan in, saves the match and does his thing. Um, but apart from that, like I said, decent match, just obvious winners. Uh... The Nia Jax first lets Bliss for the Wars Women's Championship match. Again, doesn't surprise me with the winner. Um, it's obvious Nia Jax is going to win because, again, she's been on an absolute tear the last couple of months and she's been going for the belt for God knows how long now. So it's obvious he's going to finally let her win the belt. Fair play, you know, let's Bliss be an amazing champ, being on an absolute tear, does some w- wicked match- matches and Really made the women's Raw Championship relevant. But, you know, it was obvious Nia Jax was going to win. I'm a bit mixed on Nia Jax. I'm kind of like, eh, she's, sometimes she's really good, sometimes she's not. But in this match, she pulled it off. They made it a good match. But it's obvious winner. So not really anything else to say on that. AJ Styles for Shane Nakamura. Sorry if I'm butchering his name. Again, a decent match. Um... Did surprise me that Shit Say Nakamura didn't win. I honestly thought he was gonna win because again, he's been on a tear, they made him this big thing, and now he's gone for the belt and he lost. Um obviously he did turn heel at the end of the match and attack AJ Styles. So maybe when they fight again, uh, Backlash if that is when they fight again, I'm not sure. He will get the belt, maybe. I think he will win the belt eventually, but it's just gonna take time. But uh, like I said, decent match and everything with it is I think it should have been a much more longer match. I think if they had the time and a lot more time and a lot more, you know, chance to plan it, it could have been an amazing match, but it was an okay match. I don't think it's anywhere near there, and I haven't seen their New Japan match, but I don't think it's anywhere near their New Japan match quality. But that's because they don't have the <coughs> they don't have the time. I think if they had the time it would have been an amazing match, but I think because they don't have the time, that made it an okayish match. So it's an okayish match, decent match, but apart from 
AJ Styles winning, which was a bit of a surprise. Nothing else to say. I reckon he needed longer, to be honest, but that's just my opinion. Um, more championship, tag team championship match. Braun Strowman and Nicholas defeated Shane Less and Cesaro. Obviously, Nicholas was one of the referees' son, I think. I can't remember what referee, but he was one of the referees' son, sons. And um, apart from Braun pretty much carrying the match and obviously Cesaro and Shane Less, it's an okay match. Can't really expect much because it's Braun against two guys. Braun's been an absolute terror. Did it surprise me? One, no, because he was gonna win the belts and obviously he dropped it next day on Raw. Can't let a kid out the belt. But for the night, it was pretty funny and pretty entertaining. But it's just a shame because really Braun should be fighting for the championship and be the champion. But that's just my opinion. Let's just say Braun's grown on me. I didn't like him, but I have to say now. He's turned into a good wrestler, decent wrestler, very good wrestler. You can put moves together, you know, you can put good matches on. And I respect the dad, I do like him, I have to say. So, apart from obvious winners, and then obviously, obvious Braun was going to drop it, it was an okay match. On to the main event. Brock Lentor first Roman Reigns, obviously to everyone's surprise, because everyone thought it was going to Roman Reigns, which I'm glad it wasn't. Brock won. Um, due uh, to apparently rumours that he's extended his contract or done a new contract for even more money. Because he likes to be rich and greedy. Um, and that's why the match got changed within, like, apparently the night of WrestleMania or... Yeah, the night of WrestleMania. Roman Reigns got told the night of WrestleMania and the match got changed to Brock winning. So, apart from the surprise winner of Brock winning, which I oh, thank God he did. It was um, a good match, which was a surprise to say. Nothing else really still on it. It was in a good match. Brock always manages to put on good matches. Roman Reigns can't stand him. Guy didn't win the belt, but you know, that's just my opinion. So yeah, apart from that, like I said, Brock winning, which was, which was a surprise. It was a good match. So overall, WrestleMania was decent. Again, I wouldn't say it was better than NXT, because like I've said loads of times, NXT is the superior brand, NXT is the wrestling show, WWE are Raw and SmackDown on entertainment shows. Um, but for this year's WrestleMania, it was good. As you've seen from the blogs, me and my mate enjoyed it. We had a good laugh, loved it, watching it. I had a good laugh, obviously it was Ryan as well. Drank, obviously some tequila, vodka, whatnot. Got a bit drunk, but we enjoyed this year's WrestleMania. It was, wasn't as predictable as I thought. So, you know, make it a good change. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this review. I will see you Monday when I do a bit of streaming. I'm not sure what game yet. I think it might be a bit UFC 3, finish that off. And LC God of War comes out soon. So, I think it comes out next Friday. Or Sunday or Saturday, one of the day. So then that'll be obviously God War in place of it. So yeah, I will see you Monday. I might I might be wrong, it might be a bit of NBA My Career Mode. It's either NBA My Career Mode, My Team Mode, or a bit of UFC 3 I haven't decided yet. Um so I'll check the channel and see what's been the oldest, you know. So that'll be that, and then I'll see the Batman book's been sorted. I have now subscribed to it to be delivered to my house every Every four weeks I get two issues, so and I get a, the next issue as soon as they receive my letter. Um, so that'll be uploaded soon, I'll be uploading them soon, or the Batman books, next couple issues, hopefully. Um, the wraps come along, done some more on it the other day, and obviously the next, Royal, next pay-per-view will be the Greatest Royal Rumble of all time, so I will do a review on that, so probably will watch it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you later. If not, uh, if not, see you Monday. Inspiration Roy, out.